In today's video, I'm going to give an update for the single seed challenge. If you want to see what I'm growing, keep watching this video. Today I want to give an update on my single seed challenge. Hi garden friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time meeting me, my name is Chris. I'm in zone 5B in the central lower Michigan on the sunrise side of the state. First, I would like to give a shout out to my subscribers. You guys are so awesome. I've hit over 250 subscribers and I'm just very, happy and very excited that you guys are enjoying my videos and sharing my videos and you keep coming back to watch my videos. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and supporting me. I first heard about the single seed challenge from Nicole at Flower Hill Farm, but then she said she had heard it from Scott Head from Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. And I'll leave a link below to the video for Scott Head's um, single seed challenge and the rules for joining the challenge. For a recap of the single seed challenge, the goal is to sow only one seed, documenting it from sowing through, through its major growth stages. And that's a quote from Scott Head. So I couldn't decide what I wanted to do, a flower or a vegetable. So on May 11th, I planted the flocks of sheep. And in the clip that I'm showing right now, you can see that I had put um, pre-moistened soil and I put one single seed in. And on the container, I put um, the name of the seed that it's for single seed challenge and the date. I received my seed from Brandon Lewis Peters. He is also part of the single seed challenge and was offering free seeds to anybody that was on the Grow Along Facebook page. And so I received the flocks of sheep and also the Celine. Once I figured out the flocks of sheep wasn't going to germinate, I decided to start the seed for the Celine. I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to it until it started growing. I didn't realize that the Celine was a perennial until I started walking around the yard and actually found this flower growing like a weed all over our property. So you can see I have it in a pot and it's growing. I didn't um, get the, all the stages from when it first sprouted and all of that. I kind of forgot about it, but it's in this pot and it's actually flowering. There's some buds on here. So also I started on May 11th, this glacier uh, tomato bush, just the one seed. Um, I also forgot to show um, the growth of that, but in the clip that I'm showing, it shows how I sowed the seed and I put the name of what it was on the container when I started the seed. And then um, when it started getting bigger, I put it in this container here. The glacier tomato bush seed I got from Botanical Interest. So since my flower here is a perennial and not an annual, I have decided to start another annual seed for flowers. I'm actually going to start two because even though we're in July and summer just started, my growing season comes close to an end about mid-October and a, both of these flowers take almost a hundred days to grow. So first I want to take a closer look at this tomato bush before I go on to um, starting my new seeds. So I'm going to move the camera up so you can see a better uh, view of this tomato bush. 
So I recently transplanted this a couple weeks ago into this container. You can see there's actual flowers on here. And when I first was getting ready for this video, I didn't realize there is an actual tomato forming here. If you can see that there. And then also this container has this trellis to be able to support the tomato as it grows. So it's early July. July 6th as a matter of fact and like I said my growing season ends at about mid-October so I decided to do two different flowers because both of them take a little while to grow um, anywhere from 65 to 100 days so I decided that I'll do one of each flower and hoping that at least one of these will germinate but if both of them germinate that's awesome I'll do updates on both of them but really I'm hoping that at least one of them germinates so we can follow it along. Um, I put pre-moistened soil in these three gallon pots. I'm hoping to be able to leave um, the flowers in these pots. I wanna germinate in these pots and leave them in these pots um, so they can just grow. I'm going to try and germinate them outside um, and the other reason for the bigger pots is so they don't dry out as fast um, when we have these hot temperatures. So the first one I'm going to do is pumpkin on a stick and I'll put the seed pack pitcher up in the corner. And these seeds are from botanical interest as well. And the other flower I'm going to do is a star flower that I got from Eden Brothers and I'll put the picture of that seed pack and maybe a picture of the flower as well because the seed pack doesn't show the picture. Um, so you can see what it looks like. There are also pots that are portable. They have handles. So when it gets closer to my first frost in the fall, if these aren't ready, I can get them protected. I can move them in. I can move them under the porch where they'll be protected and be able to live their annual life or until their demise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a seed in each container. I haven't planted these before so these seeds are not open so this will be the first. And this wants the seed depth to be about a quarter inch. Let me bring the camera up closer so you can see. The pumpkin on a stick takes 65 to 70 days from transplant to mature. They get three to four feet tall this plant bears clusters of mature mini pumpkins. These are excellent cut flowers. These take 10 to 20 days to germinate. It, if it takes all 20 days, that takes us to about July 26th from today's date. And 60 days to maturity brings us to about September 26th. So the straw flower seeds are a little bit different. Here, I'll get a close up and show you. Check that out. That's a little different. So the straw flower takes 90 to 95 days to maturity and can get up to 36 inches tall. The, st the straw flower has pale blue flowers that turn bronze colored seed heads. Excellent for fresh and dried bouquets. So this is a 16th inch deep which isn't very deep. So I guess we'll just kind of go like this. Oops. Drop it in. And then cover it up. So this takes 10 to 12 days to germinate. So 12 days takes us to July 18th and 90 days from then takes us to October 18th. So starting both of these seeds today, risk approaching the first fall frost date. Luckily, these will be in containers that are portable to keep them protected to their end of life. And after this video, I'm gonna go ahead and water in both of these pots for the seeds that we just planted. Did you join the Single Seed Challenge 2022? What are you growing? A vegetable or a flower? Leave me a comment below and let me know. I'd be very interested in hearing 
how many people have joined the Single Seed Challenge. I did a little search recently and I haven't seen any updates for anybody doing a Single Seed Challenge. So I'm hoping that other people did join the Single Seed Challenge and start posting their updated videos soon. And smash that like button if you like this video. And please share this video with anybody that would be interested in seeing um, my gardens. I have a moon garden, a vegetable garden, I have flower gardens and just different things planted around the property. I have an apple orchard that we started a few years ago and continue to add to it every year. So if, if that's something that you know that someone that would be interested in seeing, please share my channel with them. And are you a Simon Getty subscriber yet? Why not? Please subscribe to my channel. I would be honored if you subscribe to my channel. Live, love, laugh, and garden. Hope to see you at the next video. God bless. Bye.